Just baked myself some sausage rolls. The sausage meat was like 25p from Morrison's. It's right in my basket. <laughs> so I just bought some hastry and made them into sausage rolls. But yeah, they look so nice, right? That is a scratchy. And I am indeed wearing a Christmas jumper. <laughs> I've literally just uploaded my Hyderabad vlog, so if you guys haven't watched it, I'll link it. I'm just about to cook some dinner and do some house chores. That's fun. Hey guys, so today is a filming day. Um, this is why I have makeup on. I usually don't have makeup on on my days off. Yeah, I'm just gonna batch film a few videos for you. It's a typical week in the life, I suppose. <laughs> I'm literally about to go and brave the cold, so <sighs> wish me luck. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Wilco's today and probably get a few bits. Someone please tell me in the comments if fake boy hats are still a thing because I know that they were like really in like two years ago but I'm only just getting into the trend. I feel like all of a twist in this hat. <laughs> but I kind of like it. So yeah, let me know if it's still a thing or that's, you know, not. <laughs> Mug will come. This is definitely giving me Bridgerton vibes. One is definitely the mug for me. <laughs> and these are like mugs you would find anthropology or urban outfitters. So cute. Get yourself to Wilco, guys. <laughs> Just had some food i'm actually re-watching the vampire diaries i'm on season one and i'm up to that episode where they've just opened the tomb and they found out that catherine's not there yeah i've literally watched the vampire diaries so many times but i'm re-watching it and it's so good so far and yeah i'm just about to show you what i got from wilco toilet paper standard fake eucalyptus plant which i thought would look cute fabric softener tumble dryer sheets in case you're wondering why i'm whispering it's because I think my landlord is literally just outside. <laughs> I don't want him to think that I'm a weirdo by talking to myself. <laughs> Conditioner, a hairbrush because mine broke. Three wick candle because the packaging reeled me in. And my Bath and Body Works candles have run out. Moisturizer, shampoo. This is literally the best shampoo. And a glass container to put my eucalyptus in so yeah very adult hole i know look how cute she be looking cute though i don't know if i should keep it there or move it somewhere else yeah i love the way it looks very cute also okay weird thing about me right can i drink the last bits of a drink if that makes sense like this i can't drink that i mean i know it's gone cold now that's like cream on top but yeah can i have a drink the end bits of a drink i don't know if that's just a me thing but let me know if you're the same <laughs> I cleared my wardrobe yesterday and I literally have this massive pile of clothes no longer wear or don't want so I might actually open a depop or ebay or whatever or just give them away to charity some of them still have tags so oops just watching vampire diaries and yeah drinking my tea what? No, I was wrong typical to night in just editing a youtube video in bed this probably would have been already uploaded before this video so i will link it if you guys want to watch it this is how i'm spending my morning and i'm probably gonna go to the shops to get a few bits to cook for dinner a little longer than a few minutes later just cooking some spaghetti just watching the vampire diaries again obviously such a ritual but yeah let me show you Okay, so I have done a thing and ordered a corset. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I uh, will probably take some pick. Let me know what you guys think. If my Bridgerton obsession has gotten the better of me or you think that it's perfectly acceptable in this day and age to own a corset. Yeah, let me know. Also, I know I am a mess. I've got all my stuff that I need to fold. Today is actually the first day that my landlord's not in. And when he's been in, it's been fine. But I haven't really felt like completely, can't even think of the word, completely like like comfortable to film a video and things when i can kind of tell that he can hear me through the walls i'm literally waiting for my packages to arrive so this is an asos order that i did but i need to return the things because i didn't like them and i'm waiting on like three more packages to arrive but it just hasn't arrived now i'm kind of just like pacing and not knowing what to do
This is my current setup, just have my hard drive plugged in, I'm going to export my video to upload. Also, this candle that I got for £5 from Volco is literally amazing, it smells so good, so highly would recommend it. <laughs> We just pop into the shops to do a bit of food shop because again since i'm home all the time i'm running low on supplies so i'm gonna try and a few bits <laughs> Recently gone vegetarian. You always talk about Linda McCartney. They're on sale, so I don't know whether I should try them out. Mm. So I'll give them a go. Just unpacked all my shopping, and yeah, I'm just gonna cook dinner. Probably gonna cook something from my recipe book. I'll show you what I come up with. The recipe that I'm cooking is Filipino recipe. It's called chicken afritada. This is the recipe, so screenshot it if you want it. These are all the ingredients, and I'm just about to slice them and prepare it. Need to dice some chicken. It can be chicken breast, but I prefer using chicken thighs because the meat is juicier. And just need to dice some garlic and some onion. Need to wait for it to brown. Can you tell that I like rose gold? <laughs> just need to add some salt, pepper, chicken cube, and some fish sauce. Yes. The magic ingredient to this dish is actually ketchup. So you do like two tablespoons of ketchup and then you stir it in and then you slowly add the vegetables. After you've added the ketchup, it should look something like this. And whilst that's simmering, so you just put that on a low heat, I'm just gonna chop all my vegetables and get them ready to add. Something that my dad actually taught is how to measure rice with like just your finger, the lines of your fingers, which is like an Asian thing to teach their child. But yeah, I do it sometimes now through that. And top tip is if you're cooking a dish, it's actually rinse the rice first in its like water. And then the second time you rinse it, save the water in like a cup or in a mug or like a bowl or something, and then add it to the dish dry and it makes the consistency of the food thicker and obviously makes it taste nicer but yeah that's just a top tip that he taught me this is the level of extra i aspire to be <laughs> i know it's like tedious but it's gonna look so good I just wanted to say that I know that it's been quite boring at the moment with my type of content and things and that's literally because I am not traveling at the moment so I'm on furlough of course once I'm back at work it'll start to pick up again and I'll have a lot more travel type stuff but for the moment I'm taking a different type of direction with my YouTube content and filming more lifestyle beauty based type videos so I actually have a haul coming up I'm just waiting for a package to arrive and then I will also film that for you and I'm actually an exciting announcement. I'm moving. Yay! So yeah, I'm so, so excited. Um, it's going to be such an exciting move. I'm going to be filming the whole process, so I will be doing moving vlogs and all that kind of stuff. Next morning. Some breakfast. Look how lush this looks. So it's brown bread with avocado and smoked salmon and salt and pepper on top. Amazing. Six and a half hours later. So guys, I've just had my landlord come to my room and have a look around because obviously I'm moving out. And yeah, he mentioned to me how the list and things that I needed to do. You're a tenant in London, you understand what I mean. It's basically a long list you need to do before you move out like clean the cooker clean the freezer paint the walls and i just got a painter come in to quote how much it would be to uh, paint the walls because they kind of have like a weird like marks on it and stuff so i really want to get that fixed this month is pretty busy for me so it's probably a good month that i'm not flying because i have so much to get done and so much to fix in my studio before i move into my new apartment i'm so excited excuse my glasses by the way i don't actually wear glasses it's more because i've been editing videos so much lately and getting like really bad headaches so so these are just like um, the blue light type glasses so they kind of um, counteract with the blue light and actually it has been helping I don't know if that's just a placebo or what Okay, for those of you guys who don't know, way, way back in the day, I used to be the biggest Taylor Swift fan I don't think you understand The biggest Taylor Swift fan I want to set a photo here <laughs> If you guys haven't watched her like Miss Americana documentary on Netflix, highly recommend. Like even if you're not a Taylor Swift fan, I just think you'd find it interesting. But yes, I am now very emotional watching this. You guys should go watch it. Phones on silent and shut.
<laughs> the show is about to begin. My H&M order's just arrived. I'm gonna be filming a haul for you guys, so I won't show you what's inside. But yeah, how exciting. I hope you guys like that little vlog and my little dancey bits. <laughs> also, I'm definitely throwing it back with this hair. I used to have my hair in like fishtail plaits all the time, but I don't know why I stopped really digging it. I think it looks kind of nice. I'm gonna end this vlog here. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you on my next video. Bye.